your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia. Claudia, based on the original stories by Rose Franken. Brought to you, transcribed Monday through Friday, by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. Now, Claudia. David, have you got an idea yet about a present for Mama? Shh, I'm thinking about it. Thinking? What good is thinking? You intend to wrap up your thoughts in a big red ribbon with a sprig of mistletoe beside them? <laughs> Impractical. We'd have to get too big a box for my thoughts. Conceited. But I forgive mm-hmm. you because you're very sweet to come all the way downtown with me. Do you like shopping for Christmas? I can't think of anything I like less. And I don't think you ought to run around alone in these malls. Why not? I feel wonderful. Nobody know from looking at me I'm going to have a baby. Do you think we're early enough to escape the crowd? I doubt it. I doubt it. I doubt it. Do you doubt everything? I doubt it. Oh, the devil. The traffic problem seems to get worse every day. Blow your horn at him. That would be a great help. He's in backup. Oh, then he sees you, so it's all right. What's all right? It's the trucks that don't see you that matter. I'll tell him a thing or two. Hey! Hey, you, a little less on that horn, a little more on the brake. These streets are for private cars, too, bud. You were wonderful. You sounded just like a taxi driver. Well, that'll that'll show him. He thinks he... What did you say I sounded like? A taxi driver. They are by far the most interesting people in New York. The last one I Hey, watch out, lady. You want to get killed? Why do women always cross when the light's against them? Women are emancipated. Women are irresponsible. Funny, when I'm in a car, I hate pedestrians, and when I'm a pedestrian, I hate cars. Does that make sense? (laughs) As a matter of fact, darling, it's a philosophy of life. I never saw so many people. Are they all shopping? I hate to think. Are we lucky? Look, David. Look, there's a space right in front of the store. Mm. You could park right there. There's a policeman in that space right in front of the store, too. Uh, look, darling, I'll drop you off and park the car and meet you just inside the front door. I'll come with you. You'll do nothing of the sort. Here, you get off here. Honestly, I don't see why I can't... Look, I'm the driver of this car, the captain of this ship. You take orders from me, see? Oh, all right, driver. How much is the fare? Mm, it's on the house, lady. Oh, I know your kind. I suppose you want a great big fat tip. I do. Uh-huh. I thought so. Really, driver, I thought you were a gentleman. Is that man bothering you, miss? Well, he was just... Um... Oh, I know guys like him. Come on, move on there, mister. Don't let me catch you bothering this young lady again. Yeah, but, officer... You heard I... me, Git. I won't give you a summons this time, but if I ever catch you again... You heard him. But, officer... <laughs> Come on, beat it. You're holding up traffic. Well, I'll And remember, if I ever see you again... Well, we got rid of him. These 7th Avenue cowboys. All right now, miss. Oh, officer, it was very kind of you. Nothing to it. Glad to help. And remember, any time you get into trouble, young lady, call on the law. I will. <laughs> Stand away from that revolving door. You want to get killed? Did you park the car all right, David? Fine. No thanks to you, ma'am. I didn't say anything to that policeman. I know, I know. He just jumped to conclusions. It made it feel important. Besides, it was all your fault. You had to go and protect <laughs> I, I was pretty good, too. You were wonderful. Well, here we are, the whole store at our disposal. Oh, I beg your pardon. Something tells me I've bitten off more than I can chew. Oh, excuse me. Have you got any ideas? Not a one. Have you? Nope. Don't worry. I never have any ideas until I get right up against the counter. You may never get that close, so let's try to decide right here before we get there. David, it's impossible. How do you know what this store is selling today? I've got a general idea, darling. Excuse me. If there's anything I hate more than shopping, it's getting into a store and not knowing what I want. Oh, such a dull way of doing it much more exciting to be surprised. That's all a matter of opinion. 
female opinion. Shopping's no fun when you just go in and buy something and walk out. Oh, it's too simple that way. through this entire store from top to bottom. It's almost noon and we haven't bought a thing. Haven't you enjoyed it, David? I have had a terrible time. You have? I didn't know. I was practically arrested. My feet had been tramped on. My tie has all but been torn off of my neck. I've almost lost my hat twice and I'm sure my pockets have been picked. I haven't seen another man in this whole madhouse of a store. When do men do their shopping, David? Obviously not two days before Christmas. Men wait until the last day. Well, not this man. Are you all right? Me, I'm fine. And I'm having a wonderful time. Well, that's fine. But what are we going to get Mother? You said she wouldn't want something to wear. Nope, I don't think so. You said she wouldn't want something for the house. Nope, I don't think so. You said she wouldn't want a piece of jewelry. Nope, I don't think so. Can't you say anything but nope, I don't think so? Nope. I don't think so. (laughs) Now, you just stand still and imagine your mama. Mm, I'm mama. Now, mama, what would you like for Christmas? Uh, nothing. (laughs) That makes everything very simple. Let's not give her anything except our love. She has that already, and I insist on a real present now that I'm in the family. Now, Now, Claudia... Think. Think hard. What do other people give their mothers? I wouldn't know. I never had any other. Sometimes I think you didn't have any. That you sprang full grown from an acorn. Do I look like an oak tree? There's a faint resemblance. Now, come on, darling. Make up your mind. We're back on the first floor. We started on the ninth. Where do we go from here? Back to the ninth, of course. Look, Claudia, we worked our way back to the second floor for the second time. You you sure she wouldn't want a bed jacket? Mm, positive. She doesn't need a bed jacket. Mama either sleeps or gets up. Sensible. What about a fur coat? What would she want a fur coat for? She's got one, and it looks lovely on me. Oh, David. Doesn't everyone around you look happy? Whoops. Everyone looks tired and irritated. You can be happy when you're tired. Darling, you're having a miserable time, aren't you? No, of course not. I I love it. I'm having a wonderful time. Look, dear, I told you the only way to shop is to know beforehand what you're going to get. David, don't blame me. Let's try again. What? We'll go back up to the ninth floor. Oh, no. And work our way down again. Oh, no. And we'll stop on each floor. Oh, oh, no. I I don't want to hear another word. Come on. We're we're, we're, we're getting out of here. David, David, I'm being swept Claudia, come back here. I'll meet you in the lost and found department. Did you hear me? Is uh, this the lost and found department? Yes, it is. Have you lost anything? Yes, my wife. Your wife? I hope she'll have the sense to come here in case she finds herself. I see. I don't think I've seen a lost wife around. No. No, not today. It's still early, though. However, we do have many umbrellas and gloves in one little bar. Not uh, interested, thank you. Are you sure you haven't seen her? Uh, Tell me, what is your wife like? Well, she's about so high, about up to my chin. Oh, just perfect. And, uh... Yes? Well, she's wearing a coat, no hat. No hat. Did you say no hat? Yes. Uh, Have you seen her? Oh, no. Just, uh, you say no hat. Well... Well, I like her without a hat. Each to his own. (laughs) (laughs) Say, uh, do some people really come to this store to shop, or do they just look around and get in each other's way? Well, personally, I don't do any of my shopping here. You don't, huh? No, never. They always seem to be out of what I want. I see. I shop at Mingo's across the street. Such Mm -hmm. a nice store. You don't see... Oh, yes, I do. It's it's much smaller store. Oh. Uh, do you know, 30,000 women come into this store every day. Yes, I know. I met 29,000 of them this morning. And on Saturdays and in holiday seasons, 40,000. And the average purchase is $4.67. You don't say. Hmm. I do. It's a fact. $4.67. Hmm. Oh, yes, your wife. Hmm. I'm sure I haven't seen her, except, of course, with so many other women around. How can I be sure? It would be asking too much. Honestly, when I get home at night, I don't care if I 
never get to see another woman again. Well, then, if you're sure... Oh, yes, you... yes, I'm sure. I tag everything that comes into this department. No. I'd have tagged your wife. The stub would be right in this box here. <laughs> one must have a system, mustn't one? Yes, mustn't one. Now let us think. Where would she be? If I had any idea, I would... Jewelry? No, no, no. Underwear? No. A writing paper? No, definitely no. No. Shoes? No. Potted plants? No. Lots of women rest up in potted plants. Well, not my wife. Well, this is difficult. If you don't mind, I think I'll just run along. Oh, and... no, no, no. I wouldn't do that if I were you. That's no. the surest way of never finding each other. I'd stay right here like a St. Bernard and watch, and I'll stay right here and help well, you. Well, that's very kind of you, really, but I No, think no, that... not at all, not at all. It's the service. We pride ourselves on the service. And please, don't be impatient or worried. These things happen in the best of families. Why, just the other day, a woman came up here feeling just the way you do. She'd lost her baby lamb. Her what? Her baby lamb. She described it to me. It was short, with squared shoulders, and a flared back. Foreign lamb import, very expensive. Well, I should think it would be. Oh, indeed it was, for a coat. She was bereft, just like you, but I rallied my forces, and presto! Mm. Yoo-hoo, David! Here I am. No, thank heavens. David, here you are. You got lost. I got lost? You must have. I couldn't find you anywhere. You were brilliant to come here. Thank you very much for finding him. Not at all, madam. It's part of the service. I was just telling you. Yes, uh, thank you, thank you. Come on, baby lamb. Let's get out of here. David, you angry at me? Oh, no. I was never so happy to see you in my life, lamb. Really? Then why do you keep calling me lamb Because, Claudia, please, let's get out of here before anything else happens. I want to get my nice, safe car and out of this lunatic asylum. Bells, jingle bells, hello again, jingle young lady. Way, Got your la, Christmas la, la. shopping done? Oh, officer, hello. No, we didn't get a thing, but I had a wonderful time looking. Oh, dear, you women. Why you like shopping, I'll never know. I hate it. Can't stand it. You too? All Funny. men do. It's the way we're built, I guess. Shopping is women's work. There's nothing as exciting as Christmas in New York. All the trees and lights and the little children so excited. And look, Santa Claus on the corner. I'm going to give him something. I'll be right back. Hey, you, you can't pull up here. I don't want to park. I'm just stopping by here. Hey, aren't you the guy who was bothering that there young lady this morning? I wasn't bothering her. I was... Not much you weren't. Now, come on, step on the gas and scram. Now, look, officer, I've had a terrible No morning. back talk. Well, you just ask her. I ain't asking anyone anything. I'm just telling you to get out of here and fast. Stop bothering young ladies or I'll pull you in. If you don't shove off this minute, I'll... Uh, go on, go on, beat it. Now, you tell me to beat it just once more and I'll report you so Back fast. Back talk, too, huh? Well, that does it. Friend, you just talked yourself into something. Let's see your license. Oh, David, there you are. Hello, officer. And yeah, look, if you don't tell the knight in armor that Now, I... David, don't get excited. Hey, what's going on here? Lady, you know this guy? Certainly I know him. Huh? And I don't like you talking to him like that. I know him very well. You see, I'm slightly married to him. This broadcast of Claudia was supervised and directed by William Brown Maloney. Your holiday marketing needn't be such a chore if you follow the example of the men folks. Stop now and then at the familiar red cooler for a bottle of ice-cold Coca-Cola. Then you can shop refreshed, just as they work refreshed. It's wonderful what a difference that short pause makes in the day's occupation. Every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you, transcribed, with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again tomorrow at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir and remember, whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola, for ice-cold Coca-Cola makes any pause The pause that refreshes. <laughs> <laughs>